welcome. Continue with us in reading the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 25 through 34. It is Thursday, June 15th. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And that is the word of the Lord. The article by Ben Hayden is titled, Kingdom Seeking Keeps Perspective. We all worry, especially given the pandemic of the last couple of years. Yet even before the pandemic, we worried. We worry about jobs, retirement, children, aging parents, and marriage, just to name a few things. What motivates your worries? God does care about what we care about. This passage reminds us to keep the main thing, the main thing. At times in life, we need a course correction. This can come about through major life events, traumatic situations, or perpetual struggles. These trials can be springboards to, to depth into our spiritual journey. It is easy to lose focus. During these points of correction, may we keep our focus on God. To be kingdom seeking implies it is continual, not a one-time event. To be a disciple encourages Christians to be in an intimate relationship with Christ. The key to depth in this relationship is communication, vulnerability, reflection, gratitude, prayer, scripture reading, and community. Today, may we pause to identify our perspective. What course corrections are needed to strengthen our relationship with Christ? A relationship with Christ does not necessarily dispel worry. But it is helpful to have Christ walk with us through the pain and struggle. May we continue to be seekers of Christ. Annie Johnson Flint wrote the hymn for today, He Giveth More Grace. His love has no limit, His grace has no measure, His power has no boundary known unto men. For out of His infinite riches in Jesus, He giveth, He giveth, and he giveth again. From the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verse 32. Do not be afraid, little flock, for your Father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. And this is your daily devotion for Thursday, June the 15th. Have a blessed day.